Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel. Tonight we're going to take a look at the Falabun. Falabun is a, Falabun is a uh, vintage fishing vessel built originally in the 60s. Uh, and it definitely looks like a 1960s sh ship. Uh, this would definitely not be a boat. This would be a ship. It's pretty big. $1.25 million. Um, has a pretty large quota, though. Um... At, at 560,000 uh, kilograms, it is literally five times more than Toby. Uh, this uh, this only does, uh, the, it does 2,000 hook, eight lines, so the same line amount as Toby. But as we found out in the Toby episode, Toby can only carry uh, one or two uh, 2,000 hook lines worth of fish, about one and a half, maybe less. So um, even though Toby can carry eight, 2,000 hook lines. He only has room when he's upgraded all the way for um, really one and a half lines or one and a quarter lines. So uh, you're better off with this boat, even though it's twice or, you know, two and a half times as much. We should be able to haul a lot more fish. This also has room for two crew members, so this will save you time when you're catching the fish. You no longer have to do the mini game because your crew can do it. Now, you still can do it if you want to do it by hand and run the ship with no crew, but um, this is... You'll definitely be more efficient if you can have them do the gutting and the catching. So you'll put one person on gutting and one person on catching. And uh, So let's go ahead and uh, take the ship out. We're going to buy it. And let's go ahead and into... Karen and, and Ru Rudy have been moved. I actually don't want those two in there. I want different guys, so let's see. We're going to go to town, and I'm going to get my crew members. If you haven't done this, we're going to go to the crew house. Who do I have on board? He's gonna, gonna rest the crew house. Oh, these guys are training. This guy, George has been, he's just a monster. And also Karen, these are my two go-tos. Uh, Rudy's the next in line, but Karen's gonna be on the fall of Brook. So we got, a, we got our best crew out there. Uh, we got Karen and George, these guys are great. They got a lot of energy, and they also are very good at doing all kinds of stuff. She's good at net hauling, long line hauling. He's really good at... Yeah, they're about, about the same there. So these guys are good. 2.7. Oh, that's how much they cost when they're sitting in dock. Okay, so there's our crew. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the ship and do upgrades. If you have the money to do the upgrades, I definitely would. Obviously, if you're starting out and you're grinding your way through, you're going to have to do, you know, one at a time. I would say probably, you know, uh, as we learned in the last episode with Toby, each upgrade needs a matching engine. So if you're going to do storage one... Save up enough money and make sure that you have enough money to do engine one. No, we're going to do all of them. Because I want to see what the boat does when it's fully upgraded. But you can, you know, start off and grind your way through the boat. I also, once again, would recommend doing the radar upgrades as you're unlocking the map. That helps you get a lot further range. We're not going to do the quota upgrades. And I never really do the searchlights. Once again, I don't, I'm not a big searchlight user. Um, so we also need to go back to the market and buy our lines bait lines, 2,000 foot. And we're going to go ahead and bait those lines. What, like we did in the last episode, we're going to do two of each. I have a feeling we'll probably be going to the same spot. Now this boat also has a lot more capacity as far as fuel goes, so we shouldn't run out of fuel, but we might. It might, it might take more fuel to run this boat too, so here we go. Now see, with this one, they started us a little further out from the dock. Whoa, what is that? I love the chug. Put, 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 put. And off we go. In real life, you wouldn't be jamming the throttle like that. But we're going to chug our way out of the dock. We have a six mile an hour limit, so we'll take that time to kind of tour the ship and get used to it. Whoa, and all of a sudden he's speeding up. Wow, out of nowhere. We're rocketing forward. So, here's the cab view. I love I love the cabin view on this ship. This is just, uh, I love it. <laughs> it's got a vintage steering wheel to match the uh, vintage of the ship. We have uh, <coughs> our transmission here. If we shut it off all the way, 
obviously that's forward and reverse, that the right one's the reverser, the left one's the throttle. There she blows. And uh, let's go ahead and walk around a little bit. Take a look, we've got our log book. This one has, does have the capacity meter. We have all of our lights, our, our binox, rest area for the crew. This takes us out of the work deck. Here's the back of the ship where we can cast the lines. We have our bait. Arg! What a sight. The cutting table. The crew goes downstairs. And we're headed for land. Arg! The fun I'm doing. Let's get back upstairs. Uh oh, that's not it. Gotta climb the ladder to get upstairs. There we go. All right, and we're past the we're passing the dock, so we can go up to full speed here. So with the engine upgrade and an empty boat, we're going to be looking at. Uh, let's see how fast we can get going here. Going in a straight line, we are already traveling at. Uh, <laughs> I can't read that gauge; is too uh, reflective. 12.5 knots. I can't imagine this boat going much faster than that. It is really, you know, not that kind of boat. It does have deck work lights. That's pretty cool. Of course, we have our searchlight. This might be my favorite ship so far in the game, as far as look goes. I really like these old ships. Not sure what the masts are for. Maybe enough? No, I don't think they, they do. It's probably radio. Could be structural, too. Like, uh, with this, see how the lines are, are all tied to, um, like, uh, spurs? To me, that mean, that says that this is helping to hold the boat together in bad weather. I think that's what that is. I could be wrong about that, but maybe it's... Putting a metal frame on it makes it a little bit structurally more structurally sound. All right, so let's go ahead and get to the fishing grounds. That's enough of the look. Great boat, though. Just a just a classic looking ship, you know. Yeah, once again, our our hot spots are up north, so we're gonna fast travel to here. Come on, and yeah, we're gonna shoot north up to this one here. And go. And we travel 12.2 knots with a fully upgraded engine. That's about the same speed as Toby. Once again, my expectations are high on this ship. I think we're going to get a lot more capacity. Uh oh Get out of our way. I got the right of way here. Oh, I love that horn. Oh, boy. I'm sick. Look at the waves. Oh, oh, Lord. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, not a comfortable ride here. Tossed around in the ocean. Lost at sea. Okay, so back to the map. And yeah, we're going to go ahead and fast travel where we were supposed to go originally. I do have the right of way <laughs> with those smaller boats, but whatever. Okay. We've arrived at our destination. It is the middle of the night. We're going to make a turn to the right. Do, 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 do. And we need to look at our radar one more time. Let's just see here. Yep. And now we're facing right into direction we want to head. And so we're going to go ahead and drop our first line. Boop, there it goes. It's going to be hard to hold a heading because the, the waves are making us, you know. Oh boy. Making us sick. Now we got plenty of fuel left on board. You can see we haven't even hit the first bar yet. So unlike Toby, this ship can go for a while without refueling. Um, just make sure you keep an eye on it. But uh, this ship is going to get better fuel mileage than Toby is. And, uh, the 
I love this ship. This is a really cool fishing boat. Definitely my kind of boat. It reminds me of the fair, the fair, the like the Lake Erie boats. Right, there's the first line dropped. A little celebratory celebratory honk to say, hey, we dropped our line. Whoop, there goes the second one. So I'm going to go ahead and get these lines set, and I will catch up with you guys when it's time to pick them back up again. I'm going to go run over to port um, and uh, spend the night in Akafjord. Aka and then we'll meet up again when it's time to pull these fish out of the water. We'll do some crew, crew work at that point. So see you guys in a little bit. Now you'll see here, while I have out here laying lines, because they're going to get rest back in the dock, I've actually got George and uh, Karen. Karen's cooking food, and I have George working on um, repairing the boat. He's idle right now, so the boat's repaired all the way. But she's cooking. George is a pretty good cook, too, so they can share duties, but I'm going to let her cook for a couple hours because it... You want the crew to be able to have some food uh, when they're resting. It helps them re re um, recover faster. So if you haven't done any crew management before, definitely while you're laying the lines, before you go into port to rest for the night, have them do some chores around the boat um, so that they're being efficient. And they'll also learn skills as they do it. Every time they go, they spend an hour working or make a piece of food, they get better at doing it. So um, just keep, you know, those guys working on stuff. And you can pick specific people to do specific jobs. Like George, I almost always have George repair the boat. Um, you can see his repair level is pretty high. Karen does all the cooking because she's really good at cooking. Um, but the more she does it, the better she gets. So uh, just keep that in mind with your crew. It is a good idea to get them out there and have them do some work um, while the, the lines are being laid. So they get some experience and also that, so that they... Um, that you don't have to do it when they're uh, like all of a sudden like you're out fishing and they're getting tired and then oh wait I forgot to cook and oh my gosh my boat needs the sheet she just leveled up there you go it's glad I caught that on tape or on video so Karen has leveled up cooking wise um, I'll probably put George in there for a little bit to do some cooking once she's made something um, but once again it's just it's a it's good practice to get your crew cooking and repairing uh, while you're laying lines because you're going to obviously have a break once all the lines are laid so uh, they can rest during that time, and then you can put them on to the, the, the jobs that they're supposed to do. So. All right, guys, and you could also run this with one crew member. You could have them do all the hauling and then the gutting, but um, if you do it all at once, it's a lot easier So um, and faster. All right, so I'll see you guys in a little bit. I did forget to take my crew off cooking. So she's cooked a bunch of food, and now they're both resting. Um, and we're going to go ahead and uh, spend the night here at the port. Uh, I'm only going to spend about six hours here, right? And even five, because we took a long time to get here. So let's just do six. Okay, so now it's time to go back out, and we're going to take a look at our lines. They're starting to go yellow, so this is perfect timing. Uh, we're going to go ahead and fast travel. We have to exit the dock first. I know. Toot toot. And we are underway. Get our boat and our butt out of here. There she blows. Okay, so let's head on out on the map to the place where we belong and we're going to go right up to line number one fast travel those things should be turning green pretty soon green 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 uh oh we might be late actually and they're turning blue hopefully we'll get there in time we don't want them to be green again so there we go oh the light's going all crazy we thank you Where's our line? So we're going to go ahead and set the crew out. 
These guys, uh, he's going to haul the line. She's going to... Actually, she's better at line hauling. So he's going to go to gutting, because I think he's better at gutting, right? Yep, he's way better at hand gutting. Slow down. Whoa. And we're going to pick this one up. George is out there. In the meanwhile, I'm going to maneuver towards the second set of lines. Oh, it actually shows his level now. So she just does okay. She does an okay job at best. That's funny. That's new. Well, there's a good right there. Plus 3%. Well, hopefully she'll get better as we go. She's my best long haul liner, line hauler, but she's still not great, so we'll see what happens. Eight percent increase, that's not bad. <coughs> and we're gonna slowly move towards the next line. Can I? Nope, you can't. So when they're working, the boat just stops. And that's fine, that's realistic, so. Good. Hey, 14%. Come on, Karen. Show them what you got. Good. Hey. I'm going to keep encouraging her. Go, Karen. Go, Karen. Georgia Idol. Georgia Idol. 20% increase. So we have eight lines to haul. Let's see how many this one pulls. This is almost the last. There we go. There's the last fish. Good. And we filled up. About 1% of the boat. So we should be able to fit all eight lines on here and maybe even do a second round, though. You're going to have to go back in the dock anyway and and, uh, and um, empty your lines off, so like to get new bait and stuff like that. So you might as well sell the fish off when you do that. But George is getting fish right now. I don't know that we could pick up any more lines. I don't know that we could pick up another line until that's clear. So we have to probably just wait here, but let's see what happens. Maybe not. She should be idle right now, yeah. She should just automatically grab that line. Yep, so she's going to start hauling him in. And we'll let her do her job. So that is the line hauling with the crew. George is going to gut. He probably will be gutting all night because you're going to have a lot of fish that you're bringing in, and he's just going to hand gut them all. And then we'll take our catch in to, to port, but this is the most that the ship can handle. So I have a feeling if you were doing it by hand, you might be able to get a bonus enough to fill the ship up in one set of lines. But if you're going to use the crew, which makes it a little bit easier for all of you, uh, you get less fish. But it's okay. We're not going to fill the boat up all the way, but we're still going to fill it up. And we might. We might still fill it up all the way. So, All right, guys. I'm going to go ahead and finish uh, doing this haul, and then we will take the fish back to port. And we'll give a final goodbye to the full immune. But uh, this is a pretty cool ship, and I like the fact that you can train your crew and use your crew on the boat. Uh, that is a big plus. So we'll see you in just a minute. Uh, I'm the master of my own ship. <laughs> George is down there gutting. Helga's out there. Oop. She is, uh, out there pulling the line up. We've got a lot of, a lot of fish on the line. So these guys are working hard. There we go. We have... Pretty decent catch. 
Not great, but good. And we're going to go ahead and head on to the next line. So we're doing pretty good here. Just want to give you an update and show you what the crews are doing. They're doing okay rest-wise. They should be able to pull in all eight lines without dying. Oh, and the lines are going green, so we're starting to lose fish at this point, which kind of sucks. Now, I will say this. We're on our fifth line, and we're about halfway full, so eight lines might be okay, actually, with the storage upgrade. I was saying maybe you didn't need to upgrade all the way, but if things continue to go well like this, then um, it's possible that uh, we'll, be, we'll be just under storage, and so that would be... You, you want to, you know, have maybe a little extra capacity... So don't follow my earlier advice and go ahead and upgrade the ship all the way. If they do well, and as they get better, you know, you're going to get even better results. So, All right, guys, we'll see you when we're done fishing. All right, so we are headed back to port. You can see here George is busy. I've put uh, Karen over into... Um, she's eating right now. She's resting. She used up a lot of her energy. George is... Uh, less than halfway used up. He is still gutting fish. When he runs out, I'll hand gut the rest of the fish. Uh, but we're working our way back to port, and I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna fast travel. I'm gonna let George work because it takes him some time to to get that uh, hand gutting done, and then we'll take a look at the uh, like how much all of this is worth. We did fill up the boat. We only have 961 kilograms free. So uh, we have about 40,000, almost 40,000 uh, kilograms of fish. And so you do want to upgrade the hold all the way. Uh, once again, that was with bad time management. We started when they were blue. We should have started when the first line was green and we would have caught more fish. Uh, but we, we almost filled this boat up. I have a feeling if we had done it that way, we would have actually filled the boat up. So, uh, yeah, upgrade the storage all the way. And once again, at, at uh, full speed with a full hull, we are traveling at 8 knots. Once again, I have George out there working. Um, he should be able to finish these fish, but it takes him a while to hand gut. Once you get a boat that has a me mechanical gutter, it goes a lot faster. And then you can even get boats with freezers, if you remember. Uh, all that stuff comes into play. So uh, he, we can also throw her on the hand gutting um, if uh, George runs out of energy, but it takes her a lot longer. So he is really good at hand gutting. George is almost... 100% maxed out on his level. So, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and continue on into port, and I will see you guys when we get there and give you a synopsis of the boat and all that good stuff. All right, folks, we've been sitting in harbor. George just pooped out. I don't know if you saw him walking into the boat there, but he he got tired. He got most of the fish gutted. Uh, you can see here we have about 30%, uh, maybe 20% of the fish left in the boat that are not gutted. I've been sitting here in harbor waiting for him to tire out. He's pooped now, and so I'm going to give him some, some uh, food to rest. She's going to go ahead and cook, and I'm going to go ahead out onto deck and finish the rest of the gutting myself. Um, I got stuck. Go to the work deck. We need to find the gutting table, which is right over here. Let's go ahead and gut the fish. We've got 11,000 to guess. So he did about 30. Uh, he had left about 28%, maybe. Messy, messy, messy. There we go. There we go. Not so great. The whole goal is to have a nice straight line and go from X to X. There we go. That's a nice call. Yeah. We're going to gut that fish to Electric Avenue, and then we'll take it higher. So I'm pretty much a four-star gutter. I'm not great at gutting, but, oh, that's going to be about three stars right there, because I messed that up pretty good. Eh, not bad. So once again, if you can have George gut, but you, you do do it faster yourself. I will say that. Until you get the machine gutting... You actually do, I mean, we can see here we've been here for just a minute or two, and we're already almost done with 11,000, with a third of the ships, you know, gutting. We did it in moments, mere seconds. Ta-da, and one more. That looks a little bit off, but... <laughs> Beggars can't be choosers. All right, we're done. So we've gutted all the fish. Let's go ahead and uh, head back to the... We'll head into port, 
and collect our pay and see if this ship is worth it. I think my, my idea is that we got a lot of fish in here. The other nice thing is, once again, we haven't had to, to fuel up. Unlike Toby, um, with the follow-up unit, um, we, 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 are, uh, we are running... Um, we can do several fishing trips without having to refuel the boat. So... Um, that is a that's kind of a plus right there. We don't have to. You can see that we've used almost no gas. We have nine thousand liters left to ten thousand. So really, I would say if you skip Toby and go right to this boat if you can. Um, once again, you have a chance to you have a chance to train a crew on a smaller boat uh, if they're not great. Uh, but it, it's you know you can also you can run the ship manually and do it all by yourself. You don't have to have a crew, but it is nice to to start training a crew and get them working and used to working for you. We've got an almost full ship from those four lines, or eight lines that we put out, and um, that's going to vary a little bit here and there, but that's really not a bad take. So let's go ahead and see here. We have several thousand dollars up to, we might even make up to half a million krona. Let's see how we did. Oh, wow. Over my expectations, we made almost a million krona on the first catch. Now, once again, we did spend about a million dollars or million krona on this ship to uh, to upgrade it all the way, but in the first trip, it has pretty much paid for itself. Right there is a great sign that this is going to be a really good fishing boat. Let's take a look real quick at the uh, at the ships. Um, I don't. I know I don't have baited lines. I want to check and see how our quotas are doing. So let's go ahead and take a look at the quota screen. Line info storage. There we go. Quotas. We have done about. Uh, 20% of our cod catch. So, once again, as I showed you with Toby, um, when you are done, when you filled up your cod quota, make sure you change your bait out to types of bait that do not attract cod. So, I think that's once again, um, there's two, there's two of them that don't attract a lot of quad, quad, cod. Let's go to the market and look at baiting our lines. Um, krill does not attract a lot of. That's that. The blue one is cod. Um, and uh, mackerel. So these are the two baits that you're going to run once you've reached your cod quota. Um, and so you stay away from as many quad. You're still going to catch cod, but you're going to have to throw them back. So um, that's your quota once again. Um, yeah, so this boat is definitely worthwhile. I would upgrade it all the way. Uh, and I would also run a crew because you can start, like I said, this is going to be the, the boat that you use to train your crew. Uh, they're going to cook for you. They're going to... Um, gut for you and I would even maybe get four crew members take two of them out and work with them get them leveled up and then take the other two out and level them up because this is an early in the game ship um, so you're gonna you know get this to ship early on start training your crews for those bigger ships um, you know to be honest with you once they get up to the lunar bow the lunar bow crew really they come out for like a minute or two to pull to let to set the line and then they come out again for a minute or two to pull the line back in. You only need four crew members. So if you're looking for the, heading towards the Lunar Bow, you only need four good crew members. And they don't really have to be that great, really. The, the ships like the Vebec Catherine and some of those other like mid-level ships, those are the ones that need a really good crew because they're going to have to pack them. The, they're going to have to pack fish. They're going to have to freeze fish. They're going to have to gut them using the machine gutter. And those guys are all going to be working, and they're going to be working hard. So it's a good idea to get these guys up to um, snuff. And so that is my recommendation. But this is a great ship for training people. It's also a good catching ship. You saw there, we brought in quite a lot of money, and it's going to pay for itself very quickly, and you're going to be able to make some serious money on this boat. I would also maybe recommend, obviously, upgrading the quotas as you go. If you run out of quota for a certain fish, maybe keep catching until you fill the ship all the way up, and then upgrade the quota again, and then get more fish, and then upgrade the quota again. But at a million dollars a load, uh, or a, a ship full, that's a pretty good take home. So this is a great boat, and it is definitely worthwhile uh, to go to this boat. So the Fola Bruin is a definite thumbs up. Have a great night, guys. Be sure to subscribe. Thumbs up always help, and we'll see you next time on Fishing Barren Sea. Good night.